Years later, in the dining hall of the Kakariko village inn, Link slumped his shoulders as he sank onto a creaky wooden chair. His eyes, once vibrant pools of blue, were now dulled. With a heavy sigh, he lifted his head and turned his gaze toward the window beside him. Silhouettes of distant mountains stood proudly against the warm backdrop, their jagged peaks etched darkly against the twilight sky. The beauty of the sunset stirred a bittersweet ache within him, a reminder of the passage of time and the countless days he'd spent searching, hoping to find a trace of Zelda. The inn was alive, the crackling fire, raucous laughter ringing out, and the clinking of glasses sang a distant melody that felt almost foreign to Link's ears. He refrained from partaking, instead pondering on his next course of action in silence. He didn't want to waste time on anything else. All his efforts focused solely on the search. Yet after so many tireless years, he was no closer to finding his princess. In fact, he was more lost now than when he had first rode out full of determination and fire. Back then, the path had stretched clearly ahead, but that path had long since faded from view, leaving only a tangled mess of dead ends and disappointment. He'd been wandering without direction, lost in a labyrinth of false promises, chasing one fruitless lead after another. He'd scoured Death Mountain, where the fiery rivers scorched him. He'd braved the haunted lost woods, where the very trees conspired against him. He'd scavenged every cavern and hidden crevice in Hyrule, mapping out the maze of the depths, yet finding nothing but darkness. He'd piloted his Zonai hovercraft to the farthest reaches, driven by his quest to survey each and every sky island. Not until his task was complete did he allow himself his first restful nap. Every empty room, every silent castle left fresh scars on his heart, and the wounds were finally taking their toll. His days blurred into nights, the passing seasons etching lines of age on his face. The people he encountered offered sympathetic smiles, their pity mingling with admiration for his unyielding determination. Yet even their support couldn't fill the void left by Zelda's absence. He felt betrayed by his own lack of results. The weight of the Master Sword on his back was a constant reminder of his duty and, simultaneously, his failure to fulfill it. In moments of solitude, He'd often find himself standing at the edge of a sky island, his gaze stretching out into the vast expanse of Hyrule's terrain. The wind, a faithful companion, would whisper secrets just beyond his grasp, teasing him with mysteries but leaving him with no clues. He'd cry out her name at the top of his lungs. Yet the world remained silent, seemingly mocking his desperate search. He'd ventured to the familiar places he and Zelda had once frequented, as if retracing their steps could magically unveil her whereabouts. He'd sought refuge in village inns, ears attuned to the tales spun by travellers and scholars. Every story he'd heard, every whispered rumour, held the potential of a clue, a beacon guiding him to his lost love. But the threads of hope he grasped at always seemed to unravel, and each unraveling left him more profoundly lost. He continued to sink into his chair, haunted by the cruel replay of his failures, each memory engraved in his mind like a tormenting montage. He felt he was drowning, and nobody was coming by to pass him a vine. The flickering light of hope, once so bright, began to dim eclipsed by the reality that he hadn't made any progress in his search since day one. The innkeeper, a kind-faced woman, approached him at his table. You look like you haven't slept in years, she said gently, placing a hand on his shoulder. Link managed a smile, though it didn't reach his uh, eyes. Is it that obvious? He replied. She nodded. You can't help her if you're running on empty, my friend. Sometimes... Taking a moment to rest can clear the mind and reveal new paths. He wanted to believe her, to allow himself the luxury of succumbing to sleep, even if for a few hours. 
but the very act of resting felt like a betrayal to his quest, a betrayal to Zelda herself. Closing his eyes felt like shutting the door on the possibility of catching even the faintest glimpse of her. The mere thought of overlooking something vital while he slept paralyzed him in fear. Yet, deep down, he knew that the innkeeper's words held a kernel of truth. He was aware that exhaustion clouded his judgment, making him prone to missing subtle details. And his senses, once sharp as an eagle's, felt numbed. He noticed the shapes around him begin to blur, as if peering them through frosted glass. Link paused in thought. He then rocked about slightly as he stood up, his tired legs protesting the movement. I'll rest for a few hours. Do you have a room available? The innkeeper offered him a reassuring smile. Without a word, she gently took Link's hand and placed a key in his open palm. The warmth in her touch grounded him in that moment. Rest well, hero, she said softly. May your dreams guide you to her. With a nod of acknowledgement, he turned away and climbed the stairs of the inn. Upon entering his room, he dropped onto the bed and stared at the ceiling before closing his eyes. Behind his eyelids, a vivid image of Zelda's face emerged. Her eyes, filled with trust, beckoned him to find her, to save her to hold her in his arms again. The tension in his muscles relaxed as he allowed himself to drift into a slumber, clinging to the fragile hope that in the realm of dreams he might uncover the elusive answers he sought.